Hello beautiful people, it's Trina. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, I have no bags or frags today to share with you, but I do have a haul video. Oh God, just saying it makes me cringe, but yes, uh, this is my first haul, I guess, uh, as it's how I define it, is when you buy a lot of clothes from or a lot of stuff from one store at once. It's cringy to me because A, it's fast fashion, and B, it's highly consumerist. But I've put myself into this position and I just decided I'm gonna ride with it and tell you what I really feel about these items. I have 12 clothing item items behind me from Shein that just arrived today, as well as a couple of pair of shoes and some accessories, one of which are these earrings. And um, I'm not mad yet, uh, we'll find out. Let's get to it. So the first items I got myself here were some bold uh, earring accessories because I do like me some gold, but real gold is uh, generally a bit too out of my range. So I, I do prefer uh, precious metals as opposed to this kind of stuff, especially from Shein. We're talking sprayed plastic here for the most part, not even metals, I think. But as long as these don't make my ears green or infected, uh, I think I'll enjoy wearing these, particularly these little gold ones here. And I'm going to put these on today. And I think you've already seen them on my ears. Uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm happy with these. No regrets. Uh, a little bit of guilt because they are, you know, it's fast fashion. The next piece I got myself was 69 cents for this rubbery item. See if you can guess what this is before I tell you. I'm gonna tell you now. <laughs> it's for my earbuds. Um, I got these earbuds from Mac when I got my new computer recently, these little guys. And uh, to be honest, they're just not for me. They fall out of my ears. In fact, I was taking a walk just uh, a couple of weeks ago and I almost lost one because it just popped out. So I didn't, Just these things are just not good for me. But look at this, you fit this on here like so and then you can hang these little suckers around your head. Especially good for the airplane, I would imagine. Um, so this will hopefully prevent some loss, uh, expensive loss. Uh, these things were not cheap. So very pleased about that for 69 cents. Good investment. Uh, hopefully I won't lose them. <laughs> Okay, next we have a couple of pairs of shoes I got from Shein, nice big size 10. And uh, I normally don't buy shoes online, you guys, unless it's from a, excuse me, a brand that I really know and my biggest brand for shoes while living in Japan, which is uh, very tropical, so I need open toe sandals most of the time, is uh, Fit Flops, my favorite bland, bland, brand, very comfortable, and uh, not necessarily the cheapest brand either, but I know they work for me, so I buy them. But I thought I would take a risk um, and buy these sandals because I got them on sale and I like them. So here we go. Look at this. Okay, so we're talking a Birkenstock vibe. Oh, and my favorite olive green. Got some bling going on that matches uh, a bit of that uh, cheapy uh, earring vibe I was going with earlier. I like to take these things off early because otherwise they just meld into the shoe with wear. So there's one, there's the other. Now who knows, these might be dreadfully uncomfortable but and uh, be a total waste of my money and a waste of resources, uh, but I think they're cute and uh, hopefully they'll work out. I love this army green. Now this does not have a lot of stretch and obviously it's not going to mold like leather so it may cause blisters, uh, time will tell. Okay, here's the second pair. You can tell I like sandals, you guys. Uh, usually, I think I have uh, loafers, a pair of running shoes, and the rest are sandals. That's just what I use. No point getting heels or anything else like that. So here we have this trendy puffer material. And of course this is plastic, but I'm hoping that because it's padded, it won't dig into me. Um, I have a feeling though it might cause uh, some, not, not, friction problems but you know when it's really hot and your feet are sweaty and you get that peta peta uh, what's peta peta in English that sticky feeling where your feet and your skin is all sweaty and it touches back and forth on material causes like abrasion and uh, blistery situation so I might have to end up wearing some uh, covering on my skin to prevent that abrasion that's kind of unavoidable it doesn't happen so much with flip fit flops which is why I like the brand so much and uh, we'll see about these guys. We'll see how they do. I'll keep you posted. 
They're called Shein Sandals, size 10, puffy. Cute. And I also got this neutral color so it doesn't look like I'm wearing anything on my feet and it will match with this um, non-black vibe I'm trying to obtain because everything I own is black and I know it's not, uh, it's not that exciting, I know. I'm trying to step out of my zone. Okay, so first is uh, something from a brand called Emery Rose, which is shown on Shein. And by the way, Shein is, uh, it's overwhelming as a marketplace. I think it's like an outlet that's very similar to AliExpress. There's a lot of very cheap uh, clothing that scares me. It might be very cheaply made and ooh, who knows what stuff goes into it. But here's the situation, guys. I put myself into this, well, I, I don't take full responsibility, but okay, I gained a lot of weight this year. <laughs> Uh, I got COVID, I got sick, I couldn't exercise, I felt like crap, there's that physically in itself. There's menopause and there's all the stress that goes along with this whole COVID thing. So that's what I'm blaming it on. So I'm working out every day now trying to lose the weight, but my lung capacity is so crap right now and um, I have nothing to wear coming into summer. And when I say nothing to wear, I'm exaggerating of course, but it's a, it's a bit dire actually. Um, I'm already catching myself wearing the same thing two or three days in a row. Obviously I'm not like this with fragrances and bags, but I'm not really a fashion person. So I don't really have, compared to a lot of people anyway, a huge amounts of clothing. Although I do have uh, certain batches of clothing in my other in my other closet that doesn't fit me. So, you know, this is happening. This this widening action of the body, and I'm not happy about it, but I have to deal with it for now, so this is what we're doing. Now, this first item is not very summery, but it was on sale, and I liked it, and I don't have one, so I bought it. It is a jean jacket shirt, and I guess I'll, I'm not a, an affiliate of this brand or anything, but I'll try and put everything that I got here below. This is just a jean jacket in patchwork. I mean, yeah, it's all right, actually. So you guys, I'm not much of for modeling clothes, so I'll put the model picture from the website, if I can find it, up here for you to enjoy, and uh, I'll just give you my thoughts on having tried them on, because I'm just, I haven't tried them on yet, I'm just opening them for you right now. The Jean Shacket, number one. Next, from the same brand, uh, Emery Rose. This is in a very large size. And it looks like crappy quality, you guys. It's coming all wrinkled. There's no stretch to this. It's a very bright red, a little, maybe a little too bright for me. So here is number two, this red thing uh, out of the package. That's yeah, not really impressive, I'll be honest. Oh, these are cargo pants. I remember ordering these. These are an, uh, a wide leg cargo pant with pockets on the side in black, very lightweight. Uh, non-stretchy material, that might be a problem. I will try them on and let you know. Here's what they look like if I can find the picture. Okay, next we have a sparkly black t-shirt. Little sparkles in it, just a t-shirt. Uh, nothing to write home about. I can tell you right away that the sleeves look a little tight. I ordered these all in a size 4X, by the way, which to me seems crazy big, but I took the measurements uh, right now and that appears to be what I am. Actually, I'm very tall, I'm very big boned, and then I'm overweight. So. Um, I think that's a 22 UK, maybe something like that. I remember when I was a size 12, how things have changed. Oh dear, size 12 was always a little snug though, I have to admit. Okay, here we have an item which is more of something I think I would wear, and based on the materials and everything, yeah, I think I'm gonna like this one better. This is like a tunic um, with open sleeves and a wide neck sort of situation. It's a little bright, not as bright as the other red one though. And I like the way that this material falls. I think I will definitely be wearing this one. Next we have a black item with kind of fuzzy sort of stuff on it. Uh, I don't know how this is gonna fit. It's a crop top. Oh, I don't like crop tops. I like them, I like tunic size lengths because I don't want to deal with buckles. And I usually wear elasticized waist, not just because it's forgiving to my waistline, which fluctuates all the time, but also because uh, I have very suton sort of uh, um, shape and I just find it's more flattering in me to not tuck things in. I know that uh, style guides would dictate something differently, but I know what I like, I know what I think looks nice. So look at this material, you guys. It's it's weird and I like it. 
Okay, next we have something that I hope fits because uh, I already can tell that I like it. It's a kind of a flannel, very Canadian shirt. And I recently ditched one that I had all already because I literally wore holes in it. That's how often I shop. So it was time to replace it with another flannel-like uh, shirt. This one is kind of too thick for summer, I think. Yeah, definitely. I'm not going to wear a long sleeve in summer. But... Okay, next is another thing that appears to have a bit of a cropped shortness situation going on, which I don't like, but it's very soft. It's a gray dolman long sleeve top, which again, maybe too thick for my climate, but um, it's very, th I don't know, it's thin. It's kind of like a towel, not softer than towel. I like it. It's very soft. Don't know how that's going to wash though. Uh, like a v-neck dolman sleeve that cinches in the front. Uh, I'll put a picture of it here. I quite like it. I hope it fits. Okay, next item here is this. Oh, it's not what I thought it was going to be. It's sort of a cotton material. Uh, funnily enough, I know cotton's a nice material, but I tend not to like it because it wrinkles and it shrinks. I thought this was going to be more of a um, polyester or viscose. It's basically a, um, this kind of t-shirt with like frilly ends. Here's a picture of it. I thought it was cute, a little bit feminine, nice and black and white, so easy for me to um, match with stuff and very open boxy look. I like it. Um, so we'll see how that goes. So, so far I, I like the items. Just this second item that was red, I didn't think the material on that was very nice at all. And of course I'm not expecting en the quality on any of this to be good, I'll be honest. I mean, the stitching is probably not good, the material is cheap, and also I think with a few wears of washing it's, uh, it's, it's, it's going to shrink or something's going to happen to it. So if I can wash them by hand, I might be able to prolong them a bit more. Um, with clothing, I do tend to uh, pass it on to friends here, other foreigners in Japan who, in my local area, who are larger than local people. And this is another reason why I shop online. I can't find my size here in southern Kyushu. Everybody's they're just tiny people, so there you go. Uh, here we have very lightweight material, which is ideal for summer here, actually. Um, it's, it's all wrinkly, so it's hard to say how nice it is. I'd have to iron it, but it's in a nice olive green, which would match the shoes that I showed you before, and I like the hem of it, so here it is over here. But I have a feeling this is going to look ratty after a few washes. So now I've said that I already know that this is going to be crap quality, but the fact is I've also bought a lot of um, fast fashion that actually has lasted a while, like this shirt from ASOS. This is in that plissé material. I wear these, I bought a few shirts in this plissé st stuff. It lasts forever, it washes well, it dries really fast, it's really flexible, like it goes with a lot of stuff. And I think they're, even though it's fast fashion, I think it's quality stuff because it just, I just use it so much and it looks better than cotton, you know, so I don't, I think there are exceptions to the rules, what I'm saying, if you know what to look for. But anyway, this is my first experiment with this brand and, and this haul concept. Okay, next we have a simple white t-shirt in a very stretchy cotton sort of thing. Uh, it's just a very simple gauzy sort of t-shirt, basically. Here's a picture of it. Um, hopefully it fits. The last package I have here is what's called by the Western folk a kimono, <laughs> which basically means like a little robey thing. And it's in this material here, which again matches a lot of clothing I have with black and beige and brown. And you just sort of put this over like a cami or a light t-shirt and covers your bits and bulges, you know? So I think if this fits, it would serve me really well. The material's what I expected, it's okay. It's just a little wrinkly. Okay, so I'm gonna try all these goodies on. I think that's about a dozen pieces. That is that is a haul for me, I tell you. And I'm gonna give you my thoughts. Okay, so I've tried on all the items and here are my thoughts. So first of all, you can see me in one of the items partially. It fits awkwardly, but it's really comfortable and it looks kind of cute. It's just too cropped for me and I would never probably wear it to work or in public because of the croppedness. But I do like it, it's comfortable, and I'll wear it around the house. Loungewear, and I like it, so that was a winner. These black pants that I got, uh, these were a little bit tight, but 
Actually, these will probably be winners. I'll probably end up using these if I lose a few pounds. These are, I don't know, maybe a 1X or 2X, I'm not sure. But for me, the problem with pants, whatever I get, is that I am very short-waisted and the waist uh, the elastic waist, especially in the front, tends to come up a little too high, you know? Not as high as my boobs in this case, but certainly higher than my belly button, which is not for me. I just, I'm very short-waisted. That's just my weird body. But the legs fit nice. Uh, I like the cool, light material. I just wish it, wish it had stretch, but I'll probably get some use out of these. So they were okay. This uh, gingham sort of top, this was a total disaster. <laughs> it didn't work at all. The arms, had, there's no stretch in the material. The body part fit on me, but I have thick arms and the arms are just too tight. This is not gonna work. I'm gonna pass this on to a thinner friend. Kimono was the last item I unboxed. This is great. This will go over a black tee, dress it up a little bit. It looks fine. Uh, it wasn't wrinkly, which is good. That means it probably won't wrinkle once I iron it one time. Won't need to wash it so much because it isn't outer garment uh, very light wear and lightweight and airy so good for the summer so that was uh, a good one next we have the ribbed white tee so this fit looked good I wish it were a little bit longer but it looks good it's stretchy it's comfortable it's fine uh, however I don't really feel this is going to wash well uh, maybe I'll wash it by hand to try and prolong it but uh, it's good for a few wears in the summer and this is the thing about fas fashion is that uh, once it's been washed a few times, gotten dirty, it's just going to be crapola, isn't it? The, the green tea, so this because it's not a cotton tea, it's made of some sort of rayon or polyester. This actually looks okay and I think it will last a bit longer and the color is good for me. It looks, doesn't look great, but it looks okay. So that was, I guess, a win. Next is the flannel shirt. This is not too summery, as I said, but it fits too well, meaning it's too big, actually. But I think probably it said in the description that it was an over, oversized look. So I'm gonna have to roll up the sleeves on this one, make sure it's ironed so it's crisp, probably wear it open buttoned over a black t-shirt or something, but uh, too warm looking and too thick for my summer weather. But um, I think I'll use this a lot. I do like me some, some plaid, you know? Next is this funny feather type material thingy here, and I actually really liked this. It fit well. Uh, whether it looked good or not, that's all a matter of opinion. It is not flattering for the figure at all. I looked like a giant pom-pom, to be frank, but I still like it. I think it's original. I think if I wear this to work, people are gonna comment on it and smile. Okay, this is probably my most favorite item in here, and I know this will probably last a little while because I'm familiar with this material. This is kind of a V-neck tunic. The only problem with it is that the eyelet is a little too wide, so it does show your bra, but if I wear um, a nude bra underneath, then I think I'll probably be okay. I don't have a red one, unfortunately. This is probably the, the top that I'll get the most use of out of the haul. And this is the other red top. It's the one with the pom-pom uh, sleeves, little sleeves that flare out, which is very flattering for larger arms like the ones I have. And I thought this was going to be um, a real dud, but it actually looks okay on me. I quite like it. So that's a bit of a win too. Uh, this shacket jacket jean thing, the arms are too tight. This happens with me. I always have to make sure I get dolman sleeves or something. Now, of course, um, I'm going to hang on to this a while uh, for a while because if I lose some weight, it will fit a bit better. Now, this fits a little snugly, but it proportionally everything fits fine. So I'll probably be wearing this. It's not a problem. But again, I don't think this is particularly good quality. So overall, will I be buying at Shein again? Um, I can I can say no, I don't think I will. I think this was a desperate attempt at finding a bunch of clothing fast in the hopes that something could be had for a low price. And to give you, I was curious about the brand. There's so many people doing Shein hauls, especially in the, in the plus size community, which I guess I am, I am. So uh, I thought, okay, I'll give it a go. So I think, um, I don't think I wasted a ton of money, but uh, if I had made more effort to buy better quality things, I think I would have had fewer misses and therefore uh, less waste, um, fewer clothes perhaps, but uh, also clothes that I liked and that would last longer. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not really a fan, I have to say overall, but it was fun doing. Uh, I don't think it's good for the environment though, and I don't think it's good long-term for your pocketbook. 
All right, my lovelies, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.